With Moltiphidus, we're still uh, keeping the convex probe, and we're still going to uh, point that little marker up towards the patient's head. So the left-hand side of the screen is actually going to be uh, the head side of the patient. And what we're going to start with is a longitudinal or sagittal view of the Moltiphidus, and what it's going to give us is an appearance of a Loch Ness Monster type of appearance with the spines of the Loch Ness Monster being the facet joints of the lumbar spine. So here in this position, what we're looking at is middle of the screen, I'll just freeze this here, middle of the screen here is the L4-5 facet joint and we've got the L5-S1 down here and L3-4 etc moving up. The distance or the cross-sectional area of multifidus is from here at the top down to the facet joint here. So there's been a lot of research done to show that where somebody has an episode of back pain, we can get reduced muscle tone in the multifidus. And a good way to uh, quantitatively measure that is to use the real time ultrasound unit to take a measure from the top of the muscle like we just did, right down to the facet joint. And with appropriate intervention, we should be able to get that to change over time. So the best way to determine if there was muscle wasting would be to compare the left and the right side of the patient. Let's clear that. We'll go and have a look and see if we can get Ben to do a contraction of the multifidus and hold it. So, Ben, could I get you to just imagine like you're tilting your pelvis back towards us and relax. And one more time. Now we're not oh, getting we're backwards. Sorry. Yeah, and relax again. Yep, so there we see the contraction. Just relax there. So again, I'll get you to turn on that multifidus just by tilting your pelvis. Great. And you can see the muscles swell right up there. Let's see if you can do that without actually moving your hips. So just imagine you're doing that same movement, but try not to move at all. Yeah, good. So we've got a nice gentle muscle contraction there. One more time. Perfect. Let's just see how long we can hold that on for as well. So just switch on, we'll count it out. One, two, Now again, if we want to save an image of this, we're going to put that L4-5 right in the middle of the screen because that's the area that we're looking at for the moment. We're going to make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the probe because that's going to compress the muscle and give us an incorrect reading. So we'll just really back off the pressure there, get a nice image, and we're going to freeze that. And then we're going to measure it, and we'll save it. So we pick distance. Set that there, then we're going to save that image, save it as a JPEG again. I'm going to hit the freeze button, we're in the same position still. I'm going to get you to switch on that muscle for us. So turning on, push, 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 push. Okay, we're going to measure that again. save that so we've got that for our records because as we do some training we're going to hopefully improve that over time.